Hello, people of New World. It's me, Lamani, and welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm going to be giving you the best freedom mod farming spots for either solo or group play that give you a consistent group of enemies to keep killing and get those mods coming. Because we all know that crafting mods are king when it comes to making some quick gold. And if you're going to be sitting there farming anyway, you might as well do this. So why is this relevant? Well, here are the prices for shards on Valhalla, Marama, and COS. On Valhalla, they're going for almost 10k gold a piece. On COS, they're going for 16k and higher. And on Marama, they're pretty similar to COS, sitting around 15 to 16k as well. So a lot of gold is there to be made. So we have two things to discuss here. One, why are the prices like this? But two, why is this now an important farm or why is this even viable? Well, looking at shards of consecrated iron, freedom is a best in slot perk for pretty much every build now due to the shirking fort nerfs, uh, due to some of the general fortification nerfs and other things that are going on in New World. So a lot of people are going for freedom, meaning they'll be willing to roll it. Now, the thing that used to happen with freedom mods, this is part two, is that they used to only drop on enemies that were about level 45 and a couple out in ebon scale and they have now made it that pretty much any named enemy out in the world can drop a shard of consecrated iron so any named farm that you can do you're going to have shard potential now it is still a lower chance of getting a drop but if we can find a spot that has consistent named elite spawns and has a group of them that spawn fast this can be used for an efficient shard of consecrated iron farm so let's dive into what your options are. Farm one is the group farm. It's actually going to be in Brimstone Sands and over where we'd farm the Joyful Gloves. There are four elite spawns there if it's daytime and you can quickly pump through these and some of their spawns are a little odd at times and they'll spawn faster than they should. So the reason we want to have a group here is that all of the enemies are level 66. You can certainly solo it, but it's going to take more time. And if you really want to be an efficient group, you can just sit there and pump through elite after elite after elite and never have to worry about the trash because everything will just blow up. You'll be pulling the big joyful guy. And if you haven't watched, you can get some best in slot healer gloves. So you can go check some other videos on the channel and peep those, but you can get him stuck in a spot where you can just solo farm him. Otherwise, again, it's an easy kill in a group. You'll then go and you can pull Lexendra up top. It's a little cat running around and then we can pull the big staff person on the other side and then when it's daytime you can grab Hekka the cat down below you can actually get regular pants here they're not as good in this meta and a neat little ring but you can get a four boss farm where everything is very tightly packed and you can pretty much stand in one central location and kill everything. So you don't have to move much. You can just wait for respawns. And again, they are very, very quick respawns. If you want to validate it, these four enemies are all on the loot table for Shard of Consecrated Iron. Again, it is a little bit difficult to get the thing to drop in the first place, but this is going to be one of your most efficient farms because you're in an end game zone. But you also just have four enemies that are tightly packed. Now, the solo farm is going to be in Sky Song Crypt in Ebon Scale Reach, and you are going to have four enemies here as well. They're just a little bit more spaced out. You can also get your daily gypsum done here. Now, I will preface this by saying if you've watched Duke Slot's video about farming the mods for human bane and human ward there are four lost enemies here that will have that potential to drop as well for more gold but we are looking for freedom mods here and again these four enemies are going to be on the loot table in the church up top we have ivan the inevitable and the nice thing about him is that he also drops obsidian gypsum so if you're somebody who's just looking for a solo obsidian gypsum farm pop your topaz potion get those two things done but also maybe get a freedom mod during your daily rotation this is a good option very easy to kill everything is soloable here step out the church and look to your right and you will see slayer rosalind just standing there easy kill as well continue on and head towards the crypt there'll be a small set of buildings you'll see mordecai the mortician over there the bonus with mordecai is you can get the material for crafting the lost combat trophies the major version so this can be another little boost to your wallet and then if you dive into the crypt you'll find the cursed one down there you might pull a couple extra enemies again nothing to be worried about just go in this rotation rotating between these four enemies and Get your freedom mods. Freedom mods aren't the easiest thing in the world to farm, but now with more farming opportunities, you can make big money, big gold, big fast. I appreciate all of you watching. I wouldn't be here if it worked for all of you. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. Peace.